let's talk about some exciting news for you Apple Silicon Mac users. As I've mentioned before in a previous video, Acai Linux and the Fedora team have partnered in order to get us, quote, a more polished Linux for Apple Silicon Macs. It's called Fedora Acai Remix. And we're gonna be talking about what type of support and reading through this post announcement of the new flavor of Fedora. Let's get right into it. Basically what Acai Remix is, is Fedora Linux 39 plus Apple Silicon. And as I announced before, this has been a while in the making. In the background, Fedora Acai Remix is the result of a, of a close multi-year collaboration between the Acai Linux project and the Fedora project. We've worked hard in order to bring you a fully integrated distro, cooperating closely to get improvements and, and bug fixes to users as quickly as possible. All of the four Acai platform specific packages are upstream Fedora and fully supported in Fedora Linux 39. Now this is fantastic news, at least in my opinion, for those of us who are using Apple Silicon Macs. It gives us the ability to use one of the most well-known distributions on a Mac with wonderful 64-bit ARM support, although the sentiment from the community is a little bit mixed. We'll talk about that in a bit, but let's continue on here with Fedora's excellent 64-bit ARM support and mature development process. You can expect a solid and high-quality experience without any unwanted surprises. Fedora Acai Remix is based on Fedora Linux 39, the latest Fedora Linux release with the newest software versions across the board. All M1 and M2 series MacBook, Mac Mini, Mac Studio, and iMac devices are supported. So what desktop environment are they using? They are using KDE Plasma. We are proud to offer KDE Plasma as our flagship desktop environment with leading edge Wayland support and highly customizable experience plus wide support for Apple hardware features. KDE Plasma is a joy to use on, on Apple Silicon. Want to use a night color to keep your screen from disrupting your sleep cycle? No worries, it just works. Tweak your trackpad settings for a more comfortable experience. Everything's right there in the system settings. Are things on the screen too big or too small? Just adjust this display scale to your heart's content, even in 5% increments. We've worked with the KDE project to bring you bug fixes and improvements to improve the platform support. And we've also built a custom Calamares based initial setup wizard so you can be up and running in no time with minimal fuss. Here's one thing that I really appreciate about the Acai team is they're willing to work with partners because they understand the importance of community development, working with such teams as KDE, Fedora, and others in order to not only develop drivers, but to easily get a full-fledged working desktop environment like KDE ported over so that we can use them with the Silicon Max. This realization and the fact that they don't solely focus on their own project because there are already massive projects that can get Linux on Macs quicker, they've chosen to step aside and work together with the community to bring us a full-fledged product instead of fragmenting things more. Fedora Linux 39 comes with KDE Plasma 5.27 with the latest patches and improvements, but that's not all. Stay tuned for upcoming Fedora Linux 40, which will bring us KDE Plasma 6 with even more improvements. Rather use GNOME, that's right, they also have you covered with GNOME 45, or if you prefer to roll your own desktop configuration or want to set up a headless server, our server and minimal images will let you set up things exactly the way you want. We'll keep discussing this wonderful new release of, of Fedora Acai Remix, but I do want to talk about a little bit of skepticism in the community. There is doubt whether the project will be able to achieve full GPU acceleration on Apple's ARM processors, namely using features like the Neural Accelerator or Media Engine because it's closed source. It's hard to reverse engineer everything. And also another big thing is dual booting on Mac OS firmware. Another mention is why buy a laptop that's so expensive if you're putting Linux on it and you don't wanna go over to the closed source ecosystem that Apple is offering. Either way, we'll continue on and talk about some more optimistic views on this in a moment, but let's talk about the 100% Wayland experience in Fedora Acai Remix. Whether you're a KDE enthusiast or GNOME lover, Fedora Acai Remix comes right out of the box with a 100% Wayland environment, bringing you the newest desktop and display server technologies, which are a perfect match for Apple hardware. You'll get a buttery smooth desktop with absolutely no tearing or glitching. 
just like Mac OS. Experience seamless high DPI support in our KDE Plasma builds, even across multiple displays with different display scales. And with upcoming improvements in the Wayland ecosystem, we'll be able to support new technologies such as HDR and display notching, as well as proper display calibration. Have some X11 apps to run, no worries. X Wayland is available and fully supported as a bridge for legacy applications. OpenGL deprecated, not here. Fedora Acai Remix ships with the non-conforming OpenGL 3.3 support, including GPU accelerated geometry shaders and transform feedback, as well as the world's first and only certified conformant OpenGL ES 3.1 implementation for Apple Silicon. We support open graphics standards and test against official and industry standard test suites, which means you can be confident that your apps and games will run correctly and render as they're intended to. And we're not stopping there. With OpenGL 4, Point X and Vulkan support in the works, we aim to unlock the full potential of Apple Silicon graphics, well beyond what is possible by layering on top of the vendor proprietary APIs like Metal. Finally, we're going to get into the last couple sections here, including devices and drivers that are supported with Fedora Acai Remix. But now let's talk about some of the more optimistic or positive sentiment. With achievements like implementing OpenGL 3.1, we can definitely see the ongoing efforts to improve GPU acceleration here, which is exciting. The team at Acai is definitely committed to their project, despite the potential obstacles that they're going to run into. And a lot of people are hoping for the project's success in order to give Linux to even more users and hardware. Things like the project's performance, faster desktop environments, smooth gaming experiences, and video playback capabilities are said to be great in support of Acai, and only time will tell whether or not they can get over the last few hurdles in driver support in order to bring us truly seamless experience with Linux on Macs. The best Linux desktop audio you've ever heard. Over the past few years, we've worked hard to pioneer the world's first fully integrated DSP solution for desktop Linux ecosystem. Just install Fedora IC Remix and enjoy high quality audio right out of the box. No setup needed. We've worked together with Pipewire and Wire Plumber projects to add support for fully automatic and transparent DSP configuration, and then individually measured and calibrated eight plus different machine models, designing a customized DSP filter configuration for each one. With our in-house Bankstown base boost technology, our own pioneering open source smart amp implementation to safely provide full loudness and dynamic range, the result is the best audio you've ever heard on a Linux desktop, which are really big claims. I'd love to hear from people who've tried this out. Let me know if there's actually a change in your Linux laptops, desktop audio. And we've even optimized the scheduling and power consumption of the DSP processing. So you'll get excellent battery life while playing back audio. Very good. Now let's talk about some of the device support here, as well as what chips and features are available currently with Fedora Acai Remix. So device support, currently the Mac Book Air, Pro, Mini, Studio, and iMac are supported. Coming soon is the Mac Pro. Now make sure you go through each individual section in order to see if it's supported for your type of device. First, we'll start out with the MacBook Air chips. The M1 and M2 are supported. We can see all the features that are currently available. We won't talk about everything, but we will talk about the ones that are currently being worked on. USB-C display drivers, Thunderbolt and USB 4, microphone and touch ID, MagSafe is only available on the M2. Make sure to make note of that. On the Pro model, we have quite a bit of chips available to us. The display driver is available on 14 and 16 inch models, maximum 60 hertz refresh rate on all models. Their 120 hertz HDR support is not yet available. Again, USB-C displays are still currently being worked on Thunderbolt, USB 4, microphone, and touch ID. On the Mac mini, USB-C displays and Thunderbolt USB 4. Those are pretty much across the board here. Same with the Mac Studio. And finally, with the iMac, we have speakers being worked on, USB-C displays, Thunderbolt USB 4, and microphone. So with varied outlook from the community, I personally think this is a very exciting project. Giving Linux availability to even more users and helping support Linux on Macs is a great thing, in my opinion. I would love to hear from the community and the comment section below on what you think, on whether you're going to try it, and what you think the future holds for Acai Linux and the Fedora team. Catch me in a great community on Discord. 
I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.